okay, let's say that you have a graph that looks like this, and it doesn't really matter what the equation is, but let's say that I tell you to find the relative maxima and minima of that equation. If you wanted to see it, it it's right here. It's one-third x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 3. Honestly, I just typed in a bunch of junk until I got what I wanted. The relative maxima means, do I have any high points on this graph outside of the ones that are like way up here? We can see that I have one right here, right? I have a high point right here before it starts to decrease again. I also have a relative minima, which means the minimum value, minimum y value, somewhere in this range. There's a, rel a minimum relative to the areas around it. And so what I want to do is be able to use the TI-84 to actually find these values for me. In order to do this, I have to go, once I've graphed it, I go to second and trace, which is the calculate you'll notice right above, calc. And what I want to do is I want to calculate, let's find the maximum first. So I hit 4, and it's going to ask me what the left boundary is. Well, I want the minimum, or excuse me, I'm calculating the maximum, somewhere between this, so I hit enter, and the right boundary here. Now notice up at the top, right around here, it shows me that I'm looking in between these two areas. There's my left and right boundary. The third thing it says, it says guess. And yet, you just say yes. You want it to guess what the value is. And it's going to tell you that it's a value of x is equal to uh, 2 point, or excuse me, 0.268 with a y value of negative 2.87. So I've just found the relative maximum. Now I want to do it one more time calculate, and the, the process is very much the same for the minimum. I'm going to hit 3 this time, or I can go down, scroll down two spots, and hit enter. And this time, I want to look between, oops, sorry, ask me the left bound, let's say that point. I want to look for the right bound. You can see it kind of blinking there. I want to hit between that point. So I'm looking between those two boundaries. I'm going to hit enter again on the guess question, and it tells me the next one is at 3.73 and a negative 9 point something there, whatever that is. I can move the cursor out of the way if I want to, okay? 9.79, .79 it looks like. So that's how you find relative maximum and minimum. Now notice that you can also use this then to find out where a function is increasing, decreasing, or constant, because I know now that in this left section, the graph is going up. It's increasing. And then in the middle section, it goes down, so it's decreasing. And in the last section, it's increasing again. So there's no constant section in this graph. But what I've just done is I've found the ranges because now I have the x coordinates that I need to say, hey, between 0 and whatever that first one was, the, the 0.2 something, between negative infinity and 0.2 something, it's increasing. From 0.2 something to 3.73, it's decreasing. From 3.73 to infinity, it's increasing again.